Well, the rain has been in and out of the valley, and if you've been, uh, of course, slipping and sliding all over the place, it might be time to check on those tires or other things. Shahe is here with us to make sure that we are driving safely out there. And I know we are in the rainy season coming in here, or as they like to say, monsoon uh, time. So it is very important right now, driving safely on the roads. And Shahe, we have new young drivers out there, don't we? That we do, and with young drivers or experienced adult drivers, it's crucial that we're all staying safe in the rain. And of course, in Arizona, we don't get a lot of rain, so when it comes, we kind of are out of practice. The first thing I want to point out is lights. It's very important. The average distance during a day that does not have any rain or weird weather, the distance is 160 feet. But when you have rain, it drops it to a half half of that distance. So you got to be real careful because all it takes is one twelfth of an inch of rain and about 30 miles an hour for the car to hydroplane. So it's very crucial that you can see in front of you and be ready. So I like it. Okay, you got three points of safety you want to tell us about. What are the three points? Correct. First thing is tires. It's crucial that we have, we've discussed this before, tire tread. We can, you can go ahead and buy one of those tread wear uh, tools, but a good old penny all you got to do is put it in to the actual crevice uh, cavity of the tire and if you see Lincoln's head, you're good. If you don't see Lincoln's head and it's missing, it's time to change the tire. And then of course, we always talk about the date of the tire. There are a four digit code right on the tire with, in a little circle, 4016. This is the 40th week of 2016. So any tire that's more than five years old, you should replace. So tires is number one. Second is wiper blades. It's crucial that you use, uh, you look at the wiper blade and you make sure that the rubber is pliable. And all you gotta do to be active is grab a baby wipe and just wipe it down because a lot of this dirt and dust gets in there. And then when you go to use it on that one day, it's no good. So consistently get in the habit of wiping it down to keep the rubber pliable for you. So I like That's that. That's two. All right, three? Yes. Uh, three, the third, the third one is when you're in the vehicle, you wanna make sure that your braking power is uh, in control. So try to keep the distance of at least one to one and a half car lengths in front of you because you don't want to last minute slam on the brakes and have to worry about, oh my God, I, I'm going to hit somebody. So that's very crucial as well. So, okay, we got those. All right, you talk about slamming on the brakes, hydroplaning, big, big problem. Yes. Big problem. I'm going to start the car here real quickly. If you start hydroplaning, like I said, one twelfth of an inch, 30, 35 miles an hour, and you start losing control, always turn the steering wheel in the direction that you're hydroplaning in. So if it goes to the right, make sure you steer to the right. And first thing you do is remove your foot off the accelerator cable and have it ready on the brake so you can gently, slowly tap and slowly slow down in the direction that you're going until you regain control. So I like it. Okay. Why don't you want us to use cruise control when it's raining? Cruise control, what, you, what happens is, the way the cruise control is designed is, obviously you're driving and everything's all hunky-dory, but during rainy weather and you start hydroplaning or that you lose traction because of the thick rain and the oil on the asphalt, the cruise control thinks, oh, there's no traction, and it starts accelerating because that's its, its job. And so all of a sudden, it starts going faster when you don't want to go faster. So that's not good. Don't use cruise control in rainy weather. Well, I didn't even know that. I didn't really know. Wow. Okay. Uh, ventilation. Ventilate. What's that mean? <laughs> yes. Ventilate is when you're driving and you know that it's good, the windows are going to get possibly fogged up, especially if it's cold outside. So make sure you turn the defrost on. And another cool little trick that you could do, I've got a couple of socks here. You fill them with uh, kitty litter and you put it right on each corner of the windshield and that will continually reduce the, the fog inside the windshield and you can open up the glass, your win windows, just a smidget like so to, air, to let it air out. So that, and combined with the little kitty litter uh, socks, you always not have to worry about, oh my gosh, try and wipe it down because you can't see in front of you. So, wait, are they supposed to be clean socks or dirty socks? <laughs> <laughs> These are very clean. Yours, I don't know. <laughs> yes, they're supposed to be clean socks. <laughs> uh, Shai, what else, one more tip for us. What else do you have for us? Uh, all right, so, I mean, ultimately, uh, what you want to do is make sure that when you are driving in the rain, if you don't have to drive, honestly, don't go out. That's the, that's the best thing. It's almost like the best fight you can win is the one you avoid. If you don't have to drive, don't drive. But if you are going to drive, 
Be patient. Patience is crucial. You'll get there. Time yourself. Say, all right, I'm supposed to be there at 8 o'clock. Leave at 7.30. I know it's a half an hour. But you never know. You don't know what kind of traffic you're going to run into. You don't know what, what other people have been stopped for speeding or collisions. And we all love to rubberneck. So give that time and be patient. Well, I like that. All right. Um, you're going to come back and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, theft. Uh, something in the car. Don't say oh, yeah. what it is yet. I want people to come back because we're going to tease them. Okay. About this, which I'm Got very it. surprised at. Uh, and I thought other things were worth money, but wow. All right. We'll see you in just a little bit, Shai. So. You got it.